name is Suba and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to use a calculator to find the area of a triangle given the right angle and the hypotenuse. So let's draw our triangle. Say we have this guy here. So you have this right angle and the hypotenuse. Now to solve for the area, we need a little bit more information. So we would either need another side or some angle. So let's say we were given an angle. We can use basic trigonometry to solve for one of these missing sides because the formula for the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half a times b. So if we were given a side and the hypotenuse, we could use the Pythagorean theorem, h squared equals a squared plus b squared to solve for b. So it would just be b equals the square root of h squared minus a squared. Then we just plug that back in. And you can do that using the simple square root functions and the addition and the minus functions on your calculator to help make the calculations a little bit easier. Now, if we're given an angle, we would also just have to solve for whichever missing side. So say we were trying to solve for a. We know that sine of alpha equals a over the hypotenuse. So we already know the hypotenuse and we're given alpha. So all we have to do is solve for this a. a equals sine of alpha times h. And the sine is actually going to be a button right on your calculator. So you would just press the sine button, enter in the value they gave you for alpha, multiply by that by h which we're given, and then we have a. Plug that back into that original area equation, and you have the area of your right angle triangle. If you have any other questions, be sure to reach out to a math professor. My name is Suba, and thank you for taking an interest in math.